Hey guys, Crewman here, and I'm a little tired as I've been doing a lot of testing and life has been busy, but I am here to get you what I think are the best Zealous Overclocks on the 40 series before launch. Now, as of recording this video on July 10th, the launch has been pushed back till July 11th, so we've got about 24 hours, so I want to help you guys get all the OCs ready to go. Now, um, the testing is not going to be as in-depth as a 30 series because since this is a memory algorithm and the 40 series is not known for being the best on memory and all the 40 series are GDDR6, we have no GDDR6X, as well as being spec faster, you basically need to tune the memory a lot less for it to, to get the best overclocks. Basically, it looks like speaking with some people who really, really know their stuff in the community, which I fully trust and have taught me everything I know about overclocking. And again, you can feel the need, if you feel the need to correct me or you think I'm wrong, please do so down below in the comments. It looks like we can essentially use the same overclocks farm wide and model wide. So basically what I did was I tried to tune, I used my 4060 Ti rig to tune the overclocks to what I think is the most efficient because I will be chasing efficiency this time around and not necessarily just full bore power. And then I will apply what I've learned on the 40 series rig on the 4060 Ti rig I own to the mixed 40 series rig I have. So you'll see overclocks and hash rates and efficiency for basically everything but the 4090. So without further ado, let's hear a message from our sponsor and then let's get right to it. This video is brought to you by me, my channel, Crewman Tech and Mining. Please feel free to like and subscribe and to follow along and take a look at my other videos and also consider becoming a member as it helps me uh, fund the content that I get to you guys that you guys all enjoy. Um, I really appreciate your help. The channel's growing. I'm trying to hit 5,000 members. I've got a lot of great content. So feel free to subscribe, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. It all helps. So thanks again and let's get back to the video. All right, so here you see the 4060 Ti rig I have. Note that I do have one 16 gig card and note that there's basically no difference. So I just thought that was interesting and I did want to share that with you. So essentially, uh, in order to get the most efficient settings, basically the memory had nothing to do with it. Um, honestly, you don't even need to set a mem lock or you don't even need to set a memory offset. You can just lock the memory at 5001. I just did it because I, whether I'm right or wrong, I'm convinced that it makes maybe some tiniest bit of difference. So I did it, but you don't have to. I'm just being upfront out there. Um, but what I noticed is slamming the core clock down as low as you possibly can really affects the efficiency, which makes sense because this is a memory algorithm. So the lower the core clock, the less power you use, the more efficiency you have. Now, normally on a 40 series, you can have these core clocks up to like 25, 24, 2500. And as you can see, I push mine all the way down to 900. Essentially, you're basically using 3070 overclocks on this thing, which is kind of funny and something that I'm not used to. But again, it kind of does make sense since they're both GDDR6 memory and the core basically does nothing on this. So why have a higher core when you're not utilizing it? Uh, and you will notice that as I do more of these videos, I think I'll get more technical as my understanding of the algo will be better. So because you have to understand we're all learning this algo at the same time. The only difference is I'm putting myself out there. So when I make mistakes, you're all going to see it and you're all going to know it. So we're going to apply these overclock settings to the rest of the 40 series. Um, but right now, as far as efficiency goes, you can see we're getting uh, about like 255 to 260-ish on average. I'd probably say 250 actually. Uh, but this is across 12 GPUs. And 250 average in terms of efficiency puts us basically on par with a 3080. So that's like the third tier of efficiency in terms of Ampere, uh, which is kind of disappointing. And... Basically, in order for these to be really, really profitable, we're definitely going to need to be able to triple mine, which Rigo said will be possible. But so far, they're um, they're okay. They're not bad. They're not great. They're okay. Now, let's apply these settings, and let's see how it goes with the rest of the 40 series. Okay, so I want to talk about the rest of the 40 series a tiny bit differently. So these are my old settings I'm using first. So I basically just took my old settings from version 1 and pumped them into version 2. I've been playing around with the 40 series for about an hour now. And I haven't been able to get them uh, to get them higher than like 23 to 24 kilohash. 
So I don't know if it's me or if it's uh, just the software or what, but this is what I'm able to get with my old overclocks, right? So now that you see that and you see the efficiency numbers, let me show you what I'm getting when I take those 4060 Ti overclocks we had talked about for maximum efficiency. And you can see the efficiency numbers right here. Uh, you can see that we're getting about, give or take, anywhere from like, uh, 200 to 250 so they're they're okay not as good as the 3070 let me show you what it looks like with my super efficient super efficiency settings and you can see this time around we're using a memory uh, we're using a locked memory instead of just trying to use the offset along with the core offset and a locked core to control the power and you can see we're definitely more efficient but we're hashing less you know, for the 30 series, it's a no-brainer that efficiency is most important, in my opinion. Uh, for the 40 series, I'm not 100% sure if we're going to be completely honest. Um, I actually think that maybe in the beginning, like the first few days, I'll be going full bore on the 40 series. And then switching to efficiency settings as the hash rate uh, improves. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm still kind of milling over what I think is the best. But I wanted to show you both options and you can you know just basically uh go back and rewind the video and compare the two but we're definitely more efficient here we're getting less hash i you know you're talking you're talking about a 20 percent hash reduction but you're getting about a 20 percent power reduction too so i mean it just depends on what you believe in and the efficiency numbers are better and i think that's very important so anyway this is the 40 series overclocks now you'll notice i don't have a 4090 uh, I have one in my gaming rig, but it's not on here, and I don't have the ability to easily take it off to test for it. So I'm sure someone else will release a 40 uh, video with the 4090, and as far as I know, it gets about 40, 40 ish, um, at full settings with no, you know, no efficiency on there. So thank you guys again for watching, and if you have any problems with these overclocks or you have any suggestions on how I can make it better, please let me know in the comments down below. This is a very early overclock settings. And I'm sure someone has found something better and I'd be interested to see what you have. So please share again. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Zealous version 2.0 content. We're going to do a lot more of it this week. Thanks again. Crewman is out.